Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to I Am The Fifth Element. My name is Juan and I'm here to do an energy read for today, which is August the 16th, 2022. All right guys, tapping into today's energy. It is a three day for numerology. Threes are all about connecting and communicating with the upper angelic realm. So three days for me are hyper drive days, meaning my gifts go into hyperdrive on three days. So um, this message um, came in this AM. So yeah, from today, the title of the message is Adjusting the Driver's Seat. The song is Shut Up and Drive by Rihanna. Our message is going to be something along those lines. So let's go ahead and get it. Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, angels of the highest love and light, you are welcomed here. Please fill this space. I'm here to do an energetic read for YouTube as a collective for today, August the 16th, 2022. Using me as the channel, please give us a clear and concise message. You know how I read. Thank you. All right, so... First, I want to start by reading the prescription, I believe, the um, essence. What is, I call it the prescription, the medicine from the Upper World card. It has been featured here recently. So I did a read last week, I believe it was, where I saw or heard this definition and then the next read the card actually presented and then yesterday's read was based on upper world movement okay and so card number 59 for the upper world from the universe not the universe has your back but um the mystical shaman oracle deck reads while support for a new destiny is not yet in place a new destination is available to you if you act now. So the cart was felt in the daily energy, the new clock, and I didn't read the definition. I read a different card, but the card itself came out in the following read. Now, they want to want me to mention. Now, I give you guys these codes, but these codes don't end with these reads. These codes, I watch them develop in the ethers. And after I do a read, YouTube assigns a image number. Every time after the read, the image number matches the numbers that I pre-saw in the read. It's another sign from God that I am on track. Okay, so there are all kind of fail safe uh, signs for me to make sure that I stay on my God given, God driven path. So the image for the new clock was image number 1355. So ones are about new beginnings, threes connecting and communication with the upper angelic realm. Today is a three day and fives are about change and conflict. But master building 55 energy is about a divinely orchestrated change. Also in this 135 coding is 513 coding. So applicable in the 513 area. And the image for the read that it, the card actually presented in was image number 1358. And I feel this as 1313 because 58 is the luminous council on the second realm, on 3D realm, on the second rung. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So, um, and this 13 is the Luminous Council. So, 1358, I feel as 1313. Then I heard, the only way to take back your power is to sit in a seat of control. And then I heard, driver's seat. The seat of control continue to echo in my mind's eye for at least a minute. So they kept saying seat of control, seat of control, seat of control. Then I heard, how do you steer the vessel, the vehicle? And we already know that the avatar is the vehicle for this realm. It houses the soul. So 
I was shown the chariot card in my mind's eye in the upright. So the chariot and tarot is about forward progression. It's about um, forward movement, positive movement forward. So not just moving forward, but moving, moving forward in a positive vibration. So how do you steer the vessel or the vehicle you get in the driver's seat? And then I was given a vision of getting in a, it looked like a cockpit, okay? Um, I just heard motherboard. So, and exactly what it looked like, um, controlling my own energy. So with the addition of motherboard now, so it was not in my download. Let me tell you about this download. I'm going to touch on it slightly today and I'll follow up with a detailed read later on as directed by God. So CERN, you hear this big name, this big word, this big conglomerate, but are you detached from how they show up in your life? And you may be. So although this is a company that is in Switzerland, you are to research and find out what contracts they have in your area, meaning what umbrella, what other company is CERN operating under in your area? And you will be interested in what you find, okay? Because it's not enough to know about these entities because they research us. And so now to get you on even footing to make sure that you are aware, I'm asking you to find out how CERN shows up. This huge company in Switzerland that works with opening dark portals and messing with dark matter. How does it show up in your life? What companies are umbrellas for or cloaks for CERN in your area? Okay, so back to the driver's seat. So in the driver's seat is the next thing I heard. And then I heard currently. And then I heard the watcher. And as I sat with the watcher, I saw equal signs, the witness. So the watcher equals the witness. Now this was heard and seen at 532 in the AM. Fives are about change and or conflict. Threes are about connecting and communicating with the upper angelic realm. And this two is about balanced partnerships and or alliances. But I feel this 532 energy as 55 energy, a divinely orchestrated change. Now, as I was writing The Watcher, I heard the book of Daniel. But as I went to write the book of Daniel, book came out as Dook, D-O-O-K. So a Dook is a holy one or an angel. So angels have been watching. Angels are watching. Angels are the watchers. Angels are the witnesses, okay? This was her Dook for book was replaced at 541 in the AM. So here's this 541 coding that we've been talking about. May 14th or April the 15th. Something that was initiated in your life um, that caused God to put you in a phase of pause. and a phase of freeze. Okay? And then I heard when the watched becomes the watcher. So this is about turning the tables. How do you get, when someone tries to take the narrative of your life and they interject their energy into your energetic bubble, how do you take back control? You simply get in the driver's seat, you adjust your seat and you drive, okay? So shut up and drive heard loud and clear. And when you drive, you take the control away from outside forces. Now, when the watch becomes the watcher was heard at 226, okay, in the afternoon on the 12th. So 812, this read I did yesterday, so definitely connected to that energy. And I feel definitely connected to that group. Definitely heard loud and clear, connected to that coven. Okay. 226 energy, definitely connected. Here's 
it is super important to properly gauge the phase that you're in. It is go time. And that was heard at 536. And as I looked at the clock, it turned to 537. Five, changing conflict. Three, connecting and communicating with the upper angelic realm today. And seven, journeying you to your higher self or your God self. But I feel this as five, five, five coding, which is expect the unexpected. I got five, five, five coding three times during this download. So definitely expect the unexpected. And then they played the song Elevate. And this artist's name, I won't even try to pronounce it. I will link the song in the description box, followed by Necessary by Fantasia. I am who I am today because God used my mistakes. Okay, so let's look at the cards that present today. I am who I am today because God used my mistakes. But if you never address your mistakes, if you never um, work to um, address your mistakes, then how can, God, how can God use you for the upliftment, for the betterment of his people? Okay, so first you have to acknowledge, thank you, Holy Spirit, that you made a mistake, okay? So freedom is here today. It's the first card that presented. So everything today is about this freedom. Freedom to what? Receive was the next card. This is opening your heart, mind, body, and soul to receive those things that are in your highest good from the upper realm. The last card, forgiveness. So let's stop here. So when I did the read about the family trap and the need to erect healthy energetic boundaries, we are doing that in love, okay? So it's not about unforgiveness. It's not about harboring ill will or ill feelings. It's about simply protecting your energy, forgiving and loving from afar. So let's be clear, forgiveness is key. It's always going to be a part of the equation when you are journeying to your highest self. Heard loud and clear. So those are all of the notes that I have. So let's go ahead and get our cards to close us out. Cards are coming from both decks today. The universe, so the universe has your back. It's the second time I've been made to say it. So we'll get cards from three decks. The universe has your back. Um, the Enchanted Map Oracle deck and the Mystical Shaman Oracle deck. A lot going on. A lot of instruction. Excuse the pause. Okay. And then the universe has your back. Okay, so we're adding with the red and blue pill today, orange energy, which is all about the sacral or sacral chakra, all about your center of creativity, okay? Your pleasure center, center of joy. And since I was made to say this deck twice, I'll go ahead and start with cards from this deck. So coming from the universe, hands your back, anything additionally we need to know. on this three day and there's still um, energies on the perimeter trying to affect the read. So I'm gonna use a little bit of um, dragon's blood today to help align those stubborn energies, okay? To rid us of these stubborn energies. <laughs> Not just my team calls, calls what I'm burning a Molotov cocktail, okay? So, 
my fearless freedom lights up the world at the top of the deck. Still the bright eye. Beautiful. So when I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. What additionally do you have to add from this deck? The universe has your back. One card, please, for navigating the energies on today. August 16th, 2022 card. I believe it's more than one. Yeah, two cards, they both come face down, but in the upright, which is beautiful. In the upright, uh, confirmation. Uh, 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 uh. So I always trust the direction of the universe and know I am being guided. Absolutely, I do. So this is what allows me to trust in God 1000%. I know that he is leading me true. Okay, so I always trust the direction of the universe and know that I am being guided. Absolutely. That's a dragonfly. Dragonflies have the ability to see 360 degrees at the same time. Okay, so huge symbolism there. Okay, my apologies. This will need to be stitched. After sitting for a second, um, it will stop because I am to give that stopping point. It's going to give additional information. And then the stitched version of this read will give additional um, angel number information. Okay, so the next card that came out was, there is a stream of love supporting my dreams. So this is about being backed fully by Universal's forces. Okay upper realm, upper echelon backing her loud and clear. So those are on display at the base they want to mention. Thank you, universe, for helping me see beyond the limits of fear. Thank you for expanding my perception so that I can see what is in the highest good. Okay? Absolutely. Now, from the red peel, which is the enchanted map oracle deck at the base of it, the bone collector. Well, I would say so. Card number one, which indicates a new beginning. Wrapped in red, all about rooted in issues. It's interesting. One card, please, navigating the energy in this spread for today. August the ninth, mm, August the 16th, 2022. So something having connection to the 19th of August, 2022, which is exactly, thank you, Holy Spirit, three days from today. And we talk about it all the time. It takes about three days for spiritual. So again, interference. So, um, at the base is details, details. Card number 43 breaks to a seven. Seven is about journeying us to our higher self or our God self. At the top is moonlight. This is the 51 um, cloaked energy. So five, one breaks to a six. Six is about harmony or the journey too. So the base of the deck yesterday for the read that I posted yesterday was 15. And here is the mirror of it. Okay. And I might as well go ahead and discuss now that I've been made to encase my cards, which is a sort of a reflective surface. And then my candle is now on a mirror. And it lets me know that this is my team's way of ushering in balance, okay? So a, a mirroring, be, being a mirror for someone, allowing someone to look at their energy from an outside perspective, okay, is the energy I get. So one card, please, for navigating the energy for today, August the 16th, 2022. Thank you. Comes out. Two cards, they're reversed, which this is the rooted deck, so it makes sense. Someone refusing to clean house, 
and someone refusing to grow self is the energy I get. Okay, so clean house is card number 37, breaks to a 10. So here's the completion. The completion is here, whether you are aware or not. And so the imagery that I was just given is that, okay, you're getting ready to have unexpected visitors. So if you're having this inkling or this feeling, clean your house now. So when they pop up on you, you are not caught off guard. It's the energy I get, which is super interesting. So a completion is here, whether you're going to be ready for this completion or allow it to catch you off guard is the question. Heavy, heavy, heavy zing on that. And then card number 35 is a eight movement and abundance, but this in reverse. So not having education, not growing yourself is leaving you in a phase of stuck, okay? So, and I was just shown the, where I got the chariot in the upright. This is basically chariot in the reverse energy. Super interesting. And I won't read either of these cards. We've read them at um, Ignatium. So, um, Yeah, this this is this is it. Yeah, a need to do these things, but someone refusing. And I am drawn to the 33 vibration. So three, 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 one, three, another three. And so fighting this God self, this evolution to your higher self, wanting to stay in lowliness. So that's what's going on with the tangible, concrete. So what about higher perspective with the blue deck? Blue for the throat chakra, the tr truth. Throat chakra is also the fifth chakra. So using your voice to affect change. Heard loud and clear. The seer remains at the base of the deck. Interesting. At the top of the deck, you cannot make this up. A completion for sure. So I kept telling you, I saw five, 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 five. So, so much in this uh, read lets me know that we are at a phase of completion. Also, I'm reminded at, of yesterday, the read that was posted yesterday was also talking about a completion. So one card for navigating the energy in this spread. Drawing to a close, heard loud and clear. One card, please, for navigating the energy. At the base of the deck, the spiral again. So needing to go into this spiral and drop your heavy baggage, okay? And leave the spiral refreshed and renewed. Card number 5505 five, breaks to a five about change and conflict. But in this change and conflict, you are accompanied by God. This zero is God's source. So yes, if you're going to go through a change, you want to have God. And absolutely. Yeah. And it is about a heavy completion. It is this cycle is done. When they keep showing me completion, 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 five, 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 ten, 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 ten. Yes. So although we're on a three day, this message is about a completion on the three day. One card for navigating the energy in this spread. Today, August 16th, 2022. What's the card, thank you, for navigating the energy in this spread? Comes out face down. Someone hesitating to get on their journey. But your journey has been illuminated. The path forward you are sure and aware of. I feel it strongly. But unable, unwilling to go. Card number 29 breaks to an 11, which was yesterday. So yesterday was an 11 day, a two day on a lower vibration or the day before yesterday. And so, um, or was it yesterday? The way I know that you know what your directives are on this person's head is an owl, okay? And the owl has high wisdom, able to see things just like this um, dragonfly has this 360, same energy with the aisle, okay? So 
the journey you're sure of. You know where you're supposed to go. Where you just have not taken the step, the first step to get you there. So let's go ahead and read Journey from the book. And remember, it came out reversed. So again, some sort of stuck energy. As soon as I st say stuck energy, you can't make this up. This is someone in sorcerer energy, okay? Who is delaying their journey to healing. Heard loud and clear. As soon as I say that, I went to the medicine wheel. Ghost dance. When you delay your journey to healing, the only one that you heard is you. Heard loud and clear. The journey, the essence. The journey is an invitation to step out of the boundaries of your life as you know it. The journey is not a holiday. It's a call to be hermit-like and to go on a pilgrimage into the unknown. There are no maps to the territory you'll be exploring, no marked paths or road signs. The invitation, the time to embark on the great journey is here. Do not linger in the port when distant shores are calling. Fearlessly draw your own navigational charts as you discover the route. When the time is right, as it is now, you will be led true, even when you are not sure of where you are going. It is the departure that is most important. If you miss the boat, a great opportunity will be lost and another ship may not arrive for a very long time. I'll say it again. If you miss the boat, a great opportunity will not will be lost and another ship may not arrive for a very long time. The medicine. The journey is calling you, but the timing is premature. Collecting postcards or fantasies of where you want to go may take over your focus and make you miss your destiny. Another thing must be, excuse me, other things must be completed first, or you may still be attached to knowing the destination. Remember that the point of the journey is not the destination. It is who you will become as you are transformed along the way. Do not confuse the inner and the outer journey. So this word discover, it triggered another part of this download from today. It was about discover, okay? So let me find it because I know this is how they link common parts. Okay, I was just told it's not time, so it must be being covered in a future read because I cannot find it, and I know that it was part of the download. So be prepared to hear more about discovering. So where was it? I mean, when my team does not want me to touch a thing, no matter how many times I look at this, I, will, I cannot find it. And I just heard I will not find it. It's just not time for the message. But strong zing on discover. So when you delay your journey, the only one that you hurt is you. It is time to get on your journey. So in closing us out, I will leave this in the upright, okay? in um, hopes that you will take your divine directives and get going. Shut up and drive. Heard loud and clear. This is our message for today, beautiful people. I hope it was helpful. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also check the description box. You'll find additional helpful information about this read, angel numbers, numerology, additional insight. Until next time, my beautiful people, I'm wishing you miracles and blessings. Namaste.